All right. So we have a new person now, so that's exciting. Let's go check out our engineering section. Hello, I think we got, uh, got an engineer. One. Okay, we just have one. Let's view our engineers. Do we just have one? Okay, so we got that one. So we got a scientist. So let's go into research. He's muttering to himself in one of the corridors. I'm not sure he even hmm. noticed me. Bradford trusts him, but I'm still keeping my eyes open. Hello, Commander. Work is well underway, but it will be some time yet before my research is complete. That's fair enough. We got an extra dude. What can he do? Uh, we can have him set in some stuff. Let's see. Change research. No, we like our research for now. Let's go to armory. To refined fossil fuels, power is difficult to come by outside the cities. Even among the staunchest of anti-alien dissidents, recovered advent equipment is highly coveted. Understandable. All right, so the memorial recruit view soldiers. Let's take a look at the memorial. We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. Mm. Yeah, that was so bad in our <sighs> during the tutorial mission. It's not fair. All right, fair enough. Let's get out of here. Hopefully, we won't have anyone else join that wall, but I'm sure it may happen. Let's go back to command. Or we want to go to the bridge. All right. Let's see what we have. Intact structures. Commander, after our recent success, members of the Resistance in the West Asia brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. Could get us some new rookies. Let's go take a look. Commander plotting new course. All right. So let's uh, start with our research here. Oh. I take it this was easier than your last procedure. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. <laughs> By autopsy of Not the advent, the Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. Mm -hmm. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. However, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Yeah, so maybe they'll network. get easier as time goes on. Yes. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information. A great deal of information. Somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working <laughs> theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. It's alive! Its diminished condition. The implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. Mm. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Mm -hmm. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. All right. Let's wait and see. New objective added. All right. Access the alien network. Use the Skulljack item on an Advent officer in combat to gain access to the alien communication network. So in order to do that, we have to build the Skulljack. So we need the Proving Ground facility, complete the Skulljack project in the Proving Ground, and then use Skull Skulljack on an Advent officer. Fair We're enough. Making progress, Commander. 
I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. Let's the take a Advent captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent network tower itself. Hmm. All right, let's see what they have to say. Physically larger and more tactically capable than the subordinate troopers, the Advent officers administer a system of control over the troopers through a carefully engineered psionic link augmented with a mechanical implant. From my initial examination of the commander, and a careful review of the information gathered in the alien containment area, I now have a theory as to how this system was established. It is my firm belief that this process of psionic control was specifically engineered to allow rapid development of tactical information drawn directly from the subconscious mind, in this case the mind of our very own commander. With this hierarchy in place, tactical knowledge stored in the depths of the commander's mind was processed and transplanted to the advance officers, who in turn directed the troopers and other subordinates. With the commander no longer attached to their psionic network, it's difficult to say how the orders are being dispersed at this point, although I'm sure the aliens have planned for this potential contingency. I believe it may be possible to tap into this network, but it would require the use of a living Advent officer to function as our conduit. To facilitate this difficult task, we've worked to develop a new device, the Skulljack, which should be capable of disabling an officer. From there, it's simply a matter of hijacking the officer in the field, although I won't spe speculate as to the outcome. Fair enough. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Okay, fair enough. We will do that. But in the meantime, let's learn. Okay. So we can do the autopsies on the people or. Ooh, okay. Improvements of our material. That takes too long. That would only take three days. Five days for resistance communications. Which we do want soon, but. Ooh. It might be good to see study a sectoid. That would be good. I'm gonna go with the sectoid and see what we can come with. Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our Gosh, forces so operating gross. in the field. Alright, take your time, dude. Alright, so. Let's go back to here and let's finish our research into the intact structures. I have made a number right. of interesting discoveries, Commander. All right, let's assign some new research. The sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the alien's mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. All right, preliminary autopsy exam conducted by Dr. Richard Teigen, acting science officer. Although my direct surgical experience is limited, the alien's genetic manipulation of the senior species previously cataloged as a sectoid provides a certain familiarity in relation to human anatomy. While the earliest documented accounts of sectoids on Earth indicated examples no longer than one meter in height, the specimens we encounter today are nearly twice that size. Knowing full well that the aliens continued their efforts to integrate human and alien DNA, my findings here only reinforce the notion of a continuous development process. This larger sectoid variant has even greater proportion of human genetic material, selectively combined with the intention of improving the otherwise limited physical capabilities of the original. With enhanced psionic capabilities and greater overall strength, I'd say they succeeded. Fair enough. So now we can do the mind shield, which can make us immune to negative mental conditions, which is cool. We'll have to wait until we can do psionics, because we need lyrium crystals. Well, we could also do the Advent Trooper. Now, we know that the Advent aren't not pure human collaborators, collaborators, but actual alien-human hybrids. Close analysis of the fallen trooper's tissue might shed some light on the psychological, physiological changes the alien may have, have made. Those receiving neurotrips might also enable us to create a device that would let us scan the battlefield without being noticed. Oh, so we can use that to get the grenade that lets us see in an area. So let's no go ahead and go with that. Surgical experience is limited. I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen Advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, 
The common Advent Trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised this most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Let's go on back. Let's finish this up. Awesome. Uh, we've got two new rookies. Press OK. Wonderful. Accept. Alright, so now let's go ahead and move to the distress beacon. Avenger plotting new course. Finish collecting this. All right, we got a new scientist. Okay. Oh, nice. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Let's take a look. Despite a thorough analysis. I have yet to discover what, if any, advantage the Advent Hybrid Soldier's enormous eyes provide. Testing their visual acuity will no doubt prove difficult. Okay, the most public face of Advent security. The standard Advent Trooper serves in an important first response role in areas of high public exposure. Although rumors as to their origins have persisted for years, it's only recently that we confirmed that they are in fact the product of a human-alien hybrid development. My initial autopsy indicates that the troopers were at one time entirely human, implying some means of gradual genetic enhancement without the rejection concerns that would normally plague the these experiments. The body itself maintains the general outward appearance of a typical human, with the most crucial changes occurring in the cranial structure. It is my belief that the Advent Troopers receive their orders, that is to say, are controlled directly through a psionic link engineered as part of the genetic modification process. As we first discovered in the field, the eyes are notably larger, perhaps as an unintended side effect, as they seem to provide only limited improvements to the Troopers' visual acuity. The aliens have managed to disguise this glaring physical trait from the general public through the use of clever Designed, designed armor. Okay, cool. Awesome. Now we have that, so we can now do hybrid materials or resistance communications. I think we'll do hybrid materials first, just because it'll be so fast. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll <coughs> contact you when I have a full report available. Fantastic. Let's go back over here. Now we don't have anything. Uh oh. We got something over here, but can we do anything there? Oh, must make contact with the local person before we can go there. So I guess right now we can go to gain intel at Resistance HQ. And then we'll next we'll research the communications so that we can get over to there. So let's uh, get ready. Oh, we gotta wait for that. Skin intel in the meantime. Ooh, nice. New tactical and squad upgrades are now available for purchase. New staff slot available. Train rookies a specific class. And we got a new person available. Nice. Now we can train. Let's go ahead and train the rookies as a specific class. Let's uh, train. Matthew Thomas. That's fine. We've got plenty of rookies, so let's train him to be a ranger. New combat tactics. What can we do? Ooh, with every time loot drop, we get an extra one. That'd be nice. Rank sergeant required for these. Alright, so is this just to everyone or just for our one person? That might be good. An additional item with every timed loot drop. Yeah, let's go for that. Why not? Okay, so now let's move out. Alright, so we have alien debris. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. Let's evac excavate this. Roll Diaz, you can excavate that. While we're working on other stuff we have. Next thing we need to do is Commander, build. I more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing okay. out some of these other rooms. We should recruit Fair enough. 
Yes, we should. We'll try and do that as soon as we can. Let's go back then. Alright. How's our research coming along? Our research is progressing as expected, Commander. One day until I we finish not that. To admit it to Shen, but there is one thing I miss more than my lab equipment. Those damn juicy advent burgers. I don't know where they get the meat. And frankly, I do not want to know. Advent burgers are people! Advent burgers are people! I can see the allure of the Advent Therapy Clinic. A few minutes under the knife and you've got a clean bill of health. Too bad you need a chip to get in. Crazy. Alright, I think we're good there. Let's go back to the main map. In the meantime, let's gain some more intel. Get a supply drop tomorrow. Nothing on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification. Massive signal good. coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens. That's for not 20 good. For years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple Crumb. radar contacts on oh, the way to Haven Alpha 7. <coughs> Must end. Get out of there! Get out! Get your people out of there! With your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace. Oh, God. They don't stand a chance. This Commander, isn't good. We should get a squad ready to deploy. No shit. Let's do it. Uh oh. Gross. Commander, we have a squad ready to move on the resistance haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out. Alright. Let's do it. Let's figure out who we're gonna bring. Oh, I haven't... I thought we have already done that. Alright, so he's a rookie. I think we might have to go with this. Alright, wait. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Because we want at least one rookie. But I don't want too many rookies. So we've got a grenadier, a sharpshooter, and a specialist. Okay, well, let's go for it. Good luck, team. I thought we'd have an extra per person once we got that place, but. In position to drop. All right, let's do it. Picking up an intermittent distress signal, and as far as we can tell, the aliens are hitting back against one of the resistance outposts. It doesn't look good. We're moving in to secure the area as quickly as possible. I hope. All enemy contacts. Neutralize all enemies, race with at least six civilians, try and rescue more. Hacking Advent Towers with your specialists can provide powerful tactical advantages. Alright, guys, let's save the world. Where's the cheerleader when you need her? Save the cheerleader, save the world. Okay. This one five. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. We will try. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Okay. So we can go up to here and save this person right away. Which I think is what we're gonna do. 
So we want to save people as quickly as possible. It's terribly tactically, but... Let's go, move out! Okay. This person, we don't have any cover. We have some cover right here. Let's go right there, save that person. We're probably gonna run into someone. You're safe. Now get out of here. We're flanked. I've got eyes on an advent position. Oh, this is bad. Okay, let's go on over here. Orders confirmed. Moving out. How far can I shoot one of these suckers? I can reach one person with a grenade. What's his? All right, and we can reach the one over there too. All right, let's hold off before we decide what we're gonna do with this character. Okay, so we'll go over here to this guy. Let's see what he can do. Okay. It's a 46% shot, which isn't the best in the world. Oh. Go ahead. We missed. Okay. Well, we need to take care of that one at least. 48%. Nope. We'll go ahead and use the grenade. should have done this first so that even if it didn't kill him it would get rid of the his cover but our sniper is still in a bad position she's gonna shoot and there's no cover so oh no she's running away there's an alien over th oh shit Missed! Awesome! Great! There's another person there. I can't make it that far this turn, but I can. Oh, that's... is that inside of the... That is. Let's go there. It's 53% or I could overwatch. I think I'm going to go for killing him. Yes! Target neutralized. I can't get that far unfortunately yet. But let's see if we can save anyone else this turn. We can get up here. Uh, I don't want my sharpshooter to do that, though. Let's go to a different character. Can you get far enough? No. Both of them can't. It has to be the sharpshooter character. Okay. Fair enough. Let's uh, move this around so I can see better. I think there's an alien over there. Can you see me, anyone? No! Good! Alright, so you are gonna go behind this tree. Or. We don't have enough. We got to save the two people over there. So we're gonna have you go right here. So you two are going to go this way, and our sniper and our other friend is going to go this way, I'm thinking. Let's see how many more people we have. We have that person right there and another person right there. Okay, we're going to have you. Go over here. Affirmative. Alright, it's not the best cover positions, but we gotta do what we're gonna do. So they're probably gonna get this one, because they missed once. Oh, that's not good. 
We're seeing heavy civilian casualties, Commander. I'm we trying, man. This. What? Just out of range. We don't have any other things that we can do, unfortunately. Or let's move up here with them first. Moving on target location. Okay. Wish I had, let's see. Let's see if we can give it to the other. I guess we can't give it to the civilians, uh, unfortunately. Cancel that. Near there, so hopefully they'll see me and attack me instead of this guy. Oh shit! At least they ran away, so that's good. Let's check our other person, make sure that they can get to this person. No, they can't, but they can make it over here. So let's go right there. We'll do. Alright, only one person has died so far. Alright, we'll I save you. Good. And that'll be our six that we're required to save. Hopefully we can save more. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Alright, they might panic me or something. What you doing? Mind controlling them? Oh shit. Now nah, we're gonna get it's not good. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Well, let's see. Who else do we have around here? This person, do we have any other people to save over here? Alright, we'll keep going with what, who we have first. Alright. So this is my... Is this my grenadier or which... No, let's see, hold on. What hit percent do we have? No critical. That's not good. So get out of that. We can kill that person easily. Let's go over here, save this person. Head there now. What the hell? What the fuck? Oh, that's not good. About some kind of shapeshifters. Guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only oh, man. Means of containment. Okay, let's see. Alright, 86, no chance to. Um, yeah, we're getting out of this place. I'm um, thinking. Um, okay, what's this person? We got 71. No, I don't care about them. Our health right now is at full. We might want to go ahead and go this instead of running away. Yep, let's go out for it, and we can use a grenade on our on it or something. Only four. Shit. It's only got four left.
no criticals. That's not good. Well, let's see what happened with the grenade. Can I hit both of them? No. Just one. And four. Alright, let's go back out of this. Okay. So, uh, someone else from over here can probably get to this person. I'm going to go... Do we have our... We don't have the blade person with us. Go over here, which would be good. Moving on target yep. location. Okay, let's see who we can see. We got two people we can see. Let's see. Psy zombie, which hopefully we won't need to kill. Let's look at who else we have. I can't do the Alright, let's see how far can we throw our grenade. Not far enough. Alright, let's uh, go into fire pistol instead. Fire that guy. Just because we don't have any other chance to do anything else. Alright, next character. Hans Arkson. Go over here to save that person. Do we think they're gonna go after me or them? Right, I'm just gonna go over there. Save a person. It's the most important. Let's take a look at what shots I've got. Three to five, no critical. And that's not gonna kill. I could kill that advent trooper, but okay. Let's stop. Get out. Let's move closer, behind cover. Moving to position. Okay. This could be bad, but let's go for it. Please get four. Yes! Oh my gosh. So good. Reanimating. I'm panicked. It's fine. Well, that's not good. Missed. Awesome. Thank the Lord. Go ahead, zombie. Oh shit, there's a person there. So they double moved. Can I save anyone in my distance? If I were to run, can I get to any people or should I just go ahead? Oh, I can get to someone. I'll go over here and save this person. Go, go, go! Go! Get out of here! Awesome! Multiple civilian contacts have been secured. We like that. Now, this doesn't really give us good cover, but let's cover when uh, I can't go that far without. Uh, 
Who else do we have? I think I'll go here and shoot. Heading there now. You're safe. Now get out of here. And we'll wait to see what we want to do for our next person. All right. So, what type of things do we have here? We can fire at either of them. We, if both of us can hit, let's look over right here. Fifty percent, three to five. Go for it. Shit. Negative damage. I should have moved first. Use some ammo over here. Right. Orders confirmed. On the move. So you have two people this turn. Get out of here. Excellent work, Commander. You've done an outstanding job getting the civilians out of the combat zone. Oh, don't kill that person. No. Is that everyone though? Nope, there's a person over there. Shit! Alright, we need to get her out. No! No, no, okay. It's fine, go ahead and double move. Alright, let's go... Alright, let's go here. Good copy, moving on target. And then we'll go kill our mind. We'll kill someone. Why are you just standing around? Go! Cancel. Can we not see anyone? Refrag grenade. Oh, perfect. Come on. It'll get rid of the cover, but that doesn't really matter so much. I can go. Let's hold off on them and we'll figure out what we want to do in a second. But go for it. Yes! Killed one person. Great. Okay. How many other enemies do we have? seeing any right now and I don't see people in my range so let's go on over here we got full cover okay. flanked 50% crit let's go for it nice dead target disabled on reserve and now that character's dead Fantastic. One five. Status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Awesome. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Nice. Eleven of thirteen people. Six turns. Killed six enemies. Only one soldier wounded. Wish none were, but we do with what we got. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to the bathroom.
All right, now we made it back to base. I think we've upgraded one of our people. Oh, we've upgraded three Paris people. Awesome. All right. So we got combat protocol, I believe, for our... For, yep. So now we have either revival protocol or haywire protocol. So here... Hmm. I think I might do haywire protocol because... Um, well, I don't know. It's, Remove any negative mental status effect, which would be good, but we were, I'm gonna go Haywire Protocol. But it's gonna be a while before we can use her again anyway, so let's continue. Let's try our rookie. What are you turn out to be? Ooh, a sharpshooter. We love sharpshooters, so that's exciting. And let's see what you become. Oh, nice. A Grenadier. So we have Shredder, which means we can shred armor or blast padding. Your gear includes a layer of extra padding and blast plates, granting a bonus of armor and 69 less damage from explosive attacks. Now remember, we don't want to take any attacks if we can avoid it. So I think we're going to go with Shredder. Alright, continue. And there we go. Awesome, we've got an Illyrium Core, some Trooper Corpses, Faceless Corpse, and a Sectoid Corpse. So, let's keep... Let's check everything out. Okay. Well, now we can do a faceless autopsy. At one time, the Thin Men were the most advanced infiltration units available to aliens. Now we face a species capable of mimicking the humic form at will. If we can come to understand how it is that they emulate us so effectively, perhaps we can develop a tool to deceive them ourselves. That might be good. An outstanding job leading the resistance. Oh snap! Thank you. All right. Resistance is grateful for your efforts. Fantastic. Commander, the ongoing stress of combat can shake up even the best of our soldiers. As long mm -hmm. as we keep them healthy, I'm sure they'll recover given time. Okay. So, successful combat missions or for... Fair enough. Low supply. Supplies are used to purchase this weapons and armors. Took a big risk getting inside Advent. Enough for me to believe he's loyal to our cause. There may still be a few skeptics in the movement, but we've got bigger things to worry about than a man on a screen. True that. Uh, to gain more supplies, we can sell items in the black market. We don't have the black market yet. Slavish so contact with the regions around the world to raise your regular, raise your regular income from the resistance. And many missions also allow reward supplies. 